All right, in this video, I'd like to show you this website I found. It's Java Graphers, and this is the website right here. Um, it's cool for graphing th in 3D. So let me pull it up here. It's it's neat because you can put more than one graph um, in one in one picture frame here. So I can show you what I mean. Uh, if you if you want to plot like a, a Z surface, it's pretty easy. Just choose this f of x, y function <coughs> and then put in what you want. So I want to graph this one right here. So 1 minus x and graph. And 1 minus x is a plane. z equals 1 minus x is this plane right here. And then I want to add another graph. It's a surface right here. x squared plus y squared equals 1. It's actually a cylinder. So I choose implicit surface. X squared plus Y squared is already in there, and I'll say equal to one. And now this gives me the surface that I wanted. I have the X Y Z coordinates on the side here. I got it by just going to bounds, and you can turn it on and off, as well as this little box around the graph. Um, I like to have these axes down here to orient my view, though. And now, when you can see the two surfaces plotted together you can see that the intersection is an ellipse and that's clear to see when you can see it in 3D but doing this on a graphing calculator even if it's a TI-89 it's mm, difficult to impossible um, and now the second one I want to show you is the twisted cubic so um, to remove a graph or to choose a graph you can select between graphs like this and remove it just say remove selected and it will pop off the screen. So I want to go over to parametric curve um, and there's one already here. This one is kind of neat. Co x equals cosine t, y equals sine t, z equals t. And you can increment t. You can change all the different parameters right here um, and move the curve up and down and watch it go up and then you can rotate. So it's really neat for visualizing graphs, especially if you're taking something like vector calculus. This is pretty helpful. And now the twisted cubic is kind of a neat one. It's x equals t, y equals t squared, and z equals t cubed. And just say zoom fit, and we'll plot that for you. Um, and you can change the different um, t values, the min and max, and so forth, and then zoom about. So you can just play around with this, and you can keep adding different graphs and see them all in the same um, the same plane, um, the same graphing window. So it's neat for that. And that's it. Thanks for watching.